In less than 48 hours, two priests in our area have either been accused of sexual abuse or actually charged with it. Father Jack Baker was arraigned this morning in Wayne County. He was a priest in Waterford. And Father Edward Perone has been uh, removed from his church in Detroit. Nick Monticelli has been following both those cases, talking to both the Detroit Archdiocese and the Attorney General's Office. Nick. Devin, good evening to you. So this is an interesting case. Obviously, minors are involved, so we don't have a whole lot of details. But one, obviously enough evidence to arrest and charge one priest, and the other, the allegation is serious enough for the archdiocese to just go ahead and remove him. Two different priests, two different churches in two different counties, but both falling under the same umbrella with accusations of sexual abuse. Father Joseph Jack Baker's last assignment was at St. Perpetua in Waterford. Today, he was charged with sexually assaulting a child younger than 13. Yesterday, Father Edward Perone removed from his church Assumption Grotto on Gratiot and Detroit's east side. He's also accused of sexually abusing a minor. You know, one case is way too many, and that this happens is just an atrocity. Monsignor Michael Bugarin with the Archdiocese of Detroit says this situation is tough. Obvious sorrow for the victim, but he's pleased with accountability. Priests are called to live, you know, the lifestyle for which they've been ordained. And if they're not living that lifestyle, if they're not living according to that, you know, as the Archbishop would like to say, there's no double standards. The Michigan Attorney General is working on both of these cases, getting warrants signed and arresting Father Baker just this morning. And AG Dana Nessel says arrests like this are the tip of the iceberg. We were going to continue to listen to our hotline, see whatever emails came in. Uh, in the event the diocese uh, had information for us, of course, we were going to take a look. Now, in this case, actually, the diocese in Detroit is actually the one who sent the information to the AG's office for both of these cases. Father Baker again arraigned this morning. He was given a $500,000 bond. We're live this evening. Nick Monticelli, Local 4.